hi welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is laura hi hello welcome i'm super excited because we're doing the update on my 2023 challenge it's not a project we're just doing a challenge because there's no pressure as soon as i put pressure on myself that's where i feel like i start to like and like fall off the wayside on things. So we are doing a challenge, a simple challenge to try to touch every single eyeshadow pan in my collection throughout the year. And I'm not going to lie, I'm making pretty great strides in doing that challenge and hitting that goal. So we are definitely on track to touching all of my bandit is under my desk and he's being so cute right now. So we are on track to touch every single pan of eyeshadow in my collection this year. And I'm super, super, I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to just quickly recap some information from January and then we'll talk about some information for February. I have everything written down on a little piece of paper. I just want to quickly recap the month of January. If you didn't watch that update, I'll have it linked in the cards and in the description box. But if you're just like, just give me, just give me the bite size, give me the deets, baby. I got you. I got you. So back in January, I had 629 pans of eyeshadow that I could touch. And I ended up touching 158 pans of eyeshadow, which was pretty, pretty substantial in my opinion. In the course of February, I actually ended up decluttering two shades and bringing in nine new shades into my collection. And that was because I was sent PR from Fantasy Cosmetica, which I am now a Fantasy Cosmetica affiliate. So if you wanted to shop using my code, you could save 10%, but there's no pressure. It just goes to feed my um, animals, essentially. I ended up in February using 133 different pans of eyeshadow. So definitely less than we did in January, but take it for a grain of salt. There are less days of the month in February than there are any, any other month of the year. So I feel like if I had the extra couple days, I could have definitely gotten to 158. I'm not stressed about it. As long as I use like over 20 shades in a month, I will feel pretty successful in this project. I think I'll show you like some pictures on the screen now. You will see some like dark pink colored squares. Those are all the shades that I did use in January. Then I'll show you February and anything that I used is in light pink. Um, that is what I used for February. So we are looking at a couple different shades of pink, but I ended up using 248 different pans cumulatively throughout January and February, which to me is pretty exciting. I'm pretty pleased with that percentage of my collection used. And that makes me so happy. That makes me so unbelievably happy that I've used like such a substantial amount of my collection. We are only two months in the year and I've already touched 39% of my collection. I think that that is a pretty enormous amount of eyeshadows used. I feel like 248 pans of eyeshadow is a lot. Um, I feel like that's probably more than the average person has in their collection unless they are someone that loves makeup and loves beauty things. So I feel like that is substantial. Like 248 is more shades than some people have in their collection. That means there's only 61% of shades remaining in my collection that have not been touched in some capacity. I'm excited about this. So in January, I ended up no pan left behinding six different palettes. And that does include like my singles as well. I do like have my single potted shades as like a little section. I have my Cleona shadows as like a little section. And then I have my singles as like an entirely different section. In the month of January, I ended up touching six complete palettes. Does that make sense? I've touched completely six different palettes in January. I'm just going to breeze by them without um, giving too much detail, I guess. So the first palette I ended up touching every shade in in January was my green brown palette, which was going in my year long project pan. If you missed that, it will be my last video. I'll have it linked in the cards and in the description box. And in January, I also reached for every single shade in my Sour Than Sweet palette. This was in my Pan Those Eyeshadows. That will be linked as well. I purchased and used every single shade in my Too Faced Pinker Times Ahead palette. I stink and love this palette. I recently, again, used 
these kinds of shades in a look i was craving just a little bit of difference from the greens that i was panning so i reached into this this is a palette that is currently on sale at Ulta right now. I think it's under 30 bucks. I definitely recommend it for under 30 bucks. Um, if you can get your hands on this, I recommend it. I also reached for every single shade in my Fantasy Cosmetics Druid palette. I filmed a three looks, one palette on this, and this was in my pan those eyeshadows for this shade, and I hit two more pans. I reached for two futurism palettes from kaleidos makeup completely my sci-fi green palette here i've been working on a green in this palette and my sashimi city palette i ended up fin hitting my goal on both of these and reaching for every single shade in those very happy about that there were no palettes that i no pan like completely used both in january and in february and what i mean by that is if i used a I'm just going to use this as an example. So if I only used half of the palette, like these two rows in January, and then I used this row in February, I would put this as like a, I met my goal, but in both months kind of thing. I didn't have any of those. So I used these six palettes solely to hit that no pan left behind in February. And now I have four palettes that I no pan left behind in February. And I'm really happy about that the whole usage or I've used every single shades with within the month for these four palettes. The first one being a Natasha Denona palette. This is the Safari palette. This was my first introduction. That's a lie. This was my first introduction to a full size Natasha Denona palette. I had had two five pan palettes previously then to purchasing this, but this was my first like full size palette purchase by Natasha Denona. I am currently trying to hit pan in the shade Stone. You can see that wonderful dip, hopefully, in that shade. I did reach my goal for touching every single shade in my Pretty Guardian palette. So I ended up reaching for every single shade in my Pretty Guardian palette throughout the month. I was really, really craving some of these, like, romantic eye looks, these beautiful pinks and just, like, really romantic eye looks. But I really enjoyed reaching for these, like, brighter mattes as well to kind of add some, like, flair to my looks. The next palette that I no pan left behind, of course, is my Rogue palette, again, by Fantasy Cosmetica. This, I filmed a three looks, one palette recently, very, very, very recently on, and that's one of my most recent videos, but that is this guy here. Such a beautiful color story. Now, I will say, I feel like this, to me, screams like dead of winter, like December, January, I would really want to wear these kinds of shades. The last palette that I no pan left behind last month is a palette that's in my pan those eyeshadows. This is the on top of the mountains and beneath the stars palette. This is a long palette name, but it's just a multi-chrome highlight palette and I really bought this to use as eyeshadows so that's what it counts for in my inventory that is what I use it predominantly um this makes incredible topper shades I have it topped on my eyes today along like over a Cleona shadow so I just have so much love with this so those are the four palettes that I ended up no pan left behinding is that can we make that a verb? So those are the palettes that I hit no pan left behind style this past month. Really excited that I made so much progress. And there are plenty of palettes that I am on track to hit that no pan left behind for March. Uh, but I will say I am putting a big focus on my single and magnetic pans of eyeshadow for the month of March. Specifically, we'll talk about little goals that I'm trying to make for March within this challenge that I'm doing. So my focus for the month of March is really on my magnetic singles and like depotable magnetic singles. So I'm really trying to focus in on green eyeshadows as well this month. Green is my favorite eyeshadow color to wear. Even though I don't wear it that often, I am very, very, very drawn to green eyeshadows. In fact, I ended up picking out every single green eyeshadow in my storage palette, in depotable magnetic palettes, that kind of thing. Um, and I've already started to filter things back in like the shade here and the shade up here that have I've already like used within the month of March. We are filming this on the 7th of March right now. It's Bandit's Gotcha Day. I'm very excited. I'm going to take him outside and play with him in a little bit. But I ended up putting all of the other ones in this and I have a little like working palette right here of kind of the shades that I'm wearing in a given look. 
So I have been using my green shadows in this format for the past couple days in March. So it's been giving me a lot of opportunity to kind of play around and use different combinations of shadows, layer different things like an interesting way that I want to layer them, that kind of thing. I have some of my Cleona singles over here. These square pans right here are from the Menagerie Feral palette. I have all the rest of my singles, my depotted shades. It is a mixture of Kristen Lee. There, I think there is... There is a mixture between like, this is a Juvia's Play shade. There is a couple Bare Minerals, ColourPop, Dandelions Company, Kristen Lee. Um, it's predominantly indie shades in this palette and that's predominantly what my singles are anymore is indie shadows. So I've been really enjoying reaching for this. I have a lot of focus on this palette too. It has some of the shades that I'm panning either in my pan those eyeshadows, my um, deck of panning, that kind of thing. Any shades that are singles I can just put them in here and then kind of rotate and fluctuate I really enjoy these cream to powder shades from Natasha Denona they're from the Zendo palette I've been really really enjoying these and they're helping me get some use out of another product that I'm trying to pan in I think it was my year-long project pan doing this kind of organization and like grabbing a couple shades out of this to focus on and like incorporate in my look has really been helping me make progress in my singles for the most part. So I'm going to continue to do that throughout the month and hopefully I have every single green eyeshadow in here will be marked off that I've used it throughout the month. I am really, really gung-ho. I love green eyeshadow so much and I really don't give myself the permission to use my favorite kinds of shades all too often. I am someone that habitually saves the best for last in all, <laughs> all aspects of my life. Life's too short to like no, don't use the good things. Like always use the good stuff. Life is way too short. That is kind of my mindset is I'm really trying to use the things I love as much as I want to use them. So that is why we're wearing some minty looks on the lids today. I typically, my favorite eyeshadow color is like these olivey tones because I think they complement my eye really well. My favorite color in life is like this mint kind of color. So that is it for this video. I am hoping to at least touch another 100 shades come March, whether that be in my singles and palettes, that kind of thing. I'm really trying to touch 100 different pans of eyeshadow for the month of March. Hopefully we can get there. I would love to know if you have any look ideas that you would want to do. I did have a request over in January on like a different like random color. I filmed that Pantone picks like shopping my stash for a Pantone color and I did get a request for like a gecko green and canary yellow so I would love to do that sometime this month let me know if you have any um, look or color inspirations that you think that I should do for that like shop my stash for a certain color I would love to do those kinds of things on my channel maybe we can do like that Shan XO inspired like look based on like a flower or like a cocktail or like the seasons or something like that. I would love to know what, if you would like to see something like that. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope, I hope, hope, hope you are staying healthy, sane, and safe. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye!